I grew up having absolutely no intentions of being an artist. I thought I was going to be a radio journalist. That's actually what I really wanted to do. And college woke me up to the possibility that artist was a capacious, amazing job description that really included everything I was interested in doing and allowed kind of passage into all kinds of different arenas of life. Friendship, the silent places where speech ends. Sorted Books is a project where I go into a library or a book collection, and by pulling books off the shelves and arranging the titles in sequence, I use the titles on the outsides of the books to write short phrases or sentences with. The most recent manifestation of Sorted Books was a project I did over the summer when I got permission to work in the personal library of William S. Burroughs. It's one of the most interesting book collections I've ever been inside. He owned and read some pretty odd and interesting books. That's a project that's always on my mind and I'm always looking for the next opportunity to contribute to it. I'm often asked where my ideas come from and my answer is often from the dumb stuff that surrounds us all the time. So Seed Assignment is a project I've been working on now for nearly five years. And the rules of engagement are that every time I'm on a plane, I have to make work with what I find around me and only use my cell phone. On one flight, I went into the bathroom and using materials I found there, turned myself into simulations of Flemish portraits. This was a slightly uncomfortable moment. About two weeks after the 9-11 anniversary, I was sitting on a plane and eating these wafer cookies and stood two of them up and looked at them from this angle and thought, my God, I know what that reminds me of. I'm really interested in situations where someone might, for an instance, be a little bit confused about exactly what's happening. Because I think those moments wake you up. I think they make a viewer second guess a little bit what their assumptions are about where art happens and how it can happen, which are questions I hold dear and explore in my own practice all the time. My sense of artist experiment is that it's about getting an artist to look at the museum through that particular artist's filter. I think part of my homework in this first phase is going to be looking at what other artists have done as part of the artist experiment so far. I think MoMA is actually kind of intimidating, and I think that this is also part of what I'm interested in. I think about my own experience going there in high school or in college and feeling this quickening of the heartbeat as you walk in, and that is an amazing and powerful thing, and also sometimes maybe gets in the way a little bit for people to have an experience that is direct. So I hope to sort of open up a sense of accessibility to people who engage whatever it is that I end up doing.